Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. Excuse my holy shirt, but I've worn it so much. It's so comfortable. It's good to keep the sun off my skin and absorb all the extra sweat. What you deal with, with when you're here in Louisiana. Today, guys, I'm going to show you a quick way to feed your chickens without pelleted feed. Did you guys keep hearing me say that? We're transitioning ours off. So I'm going to show you what they're going to get for supper tonight. These are all easy to get products that you either have in your cabinet or you have already on your property. So there's no, you, no, no need for you to go out and spend any more money. All right. So there are ways to feed your chickens. I advise that you change up where well, you feed them a little bit every night. Get creative with it. Some tips. If you're going to feed them rice, you need to pre-cook it. Wheat rice, whole grain rice, the best unbleached, by far the best. Um, if you're going to feed them grasses, you can do it like right after you cut it with the lawnmower, regardless of what anybody says. It'll be chopped up for you, and they will pick through that. They'll eat the bugs, the crickets, anything that's been in that grass as you cut it. They'll eat that out of there. So let's get to this making their dinner. All right, what you're seeing in here is just now when I went out to the garden, I noticed I had a mushy squash, right? So that's in there. Got clover out of the garden. I kind of picked a good bit of the flowers apart. Then what we've got, I've crushed them up. Just pretzels. Pretzels, everybody got those boxes of food. My parents and people would give me what was left over that they didn't eat. I mean, I had like 10,000 packets of pretzels. Great, great. Quaker oats, old fashioned. You don't necessarily have to go to the store and buy any oats and they only need about three quarters of a cup of that every couple of days. It's just a really good nutritional snack for them. Let me show you what it's gonna be, the majority of what they're gonna eat tonight. All right, guys, we're back here to our quail cage that's set up in the back part of my property. I deep mulched underneath it for the odor. I told you guys that, I've showed you all this several times. Look at that black soldier fly larvae this this is really all they need that's all they need they love this stuff i'm just gonna get some big handfuls out of here yep i hear you guys your dinner's coming too you can feed your quail, basically the same thing I'm showing you right here. For the chickens, I would advise blending it up a little for them. I found that when I naturally feed the quail, the best way to get the quail to eat it, because they're so tiny, is to blend it up like I would for chicks. Like I just toss it in like a dry blender and kind of mix it all together and get all the everything, except for the black soldier larvae. Believe it or not, they tear into these bad boys. They're not shy. That's what they'd be eating if they were free ranging anyway. They're bug eaters too. So you need several handfuls. If this is what you're gonna feed your chickens. I've got 17 right now. Well, actually I've got 21, you count the mom and the baby. So all of them need to better get all their protein and everything from here. So I'm gonna be adding several more things to this and I'll show you as I go. And then I will show you how much my ladies and gentlemen appreciate a natural feed. I keep trying to tell you guys, you just have to set your systems up. I didn't do this on purpose, all right? This was in nature, right? This was in nature, this was God. So I took advantage of what he put before me. Everything you need, you already have in your hand. You might have to support it. You might, you might see it and then make that, you know, that system larger, but you can do it. You absolutely can do it. I believe in you. I do, I believe in you. So let's get this camera off and show you what comes next. All right, quick run out to the garden. Located bell pepper that I'm obviously not able to sell. I could probably eat part of it, but squish it up a little bit for them guys. Get all those seeds out. They're so nutritious for you chickens. I mean, they're birds, right? Yes, they like seeds more than anything. So give them a hand. Two handfuls, just cut grass. 
jalapenos. These are the milder ones, but it's okay. It's really good for them. Really good for them. It actually works like a mild uh, warmer. I just always kind of break everything up when I'm throwing it in there as a feed. All right, this basil, obviously, I'm not gonna cook with it or anything like that, so I'm gonna tear that up into pieces along with this comfrey. There it is, everybody. There's dinner. There it is. Everything off my own yard, out of my own kitchen. Let's go feed the girls. Come on, quick, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. Come on. Chick, 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 chick. All right, guys. Spread it out. Spread it out. They're going to love you for it. Come on, sweetie. Come on, chick chick. This one's not so bright. All right. Let me scope out here real quick. Come on, honey. Come on. There we go. All right. So what we have here, everybody. Yeah, you can make questions. Our very happy chickens, okay? Everything I showed you came out of the yard, came out of the pantry, came out of the garden. Didn't cost me anything. This is about as balanced as I can get their food for them. A little bit of oat, some rotting vegetables. People ask questions like, can they have banana pills, bell peppers, jalapenos, tomatoes? Yes. Apples? Yes. Even the seeds. There's nothing in those products that are going to hurt these animals. Whatever they don't eat, whatever I put in there that they choose not to eat, they'll just turn it back into this deep mulch system that we have going here. So that's the important thing. That's why we keep telling you guys, as a society, as small landholders, homesteaders, hobby farmers, whatever you want to call yourself, for us to be able to survive what's coming, we have got to be able to feed our animals with whatever we have on hand. So an upcoming video Stephen and I will be doing probably in about two weeks because a big tour next week. And um, I'd like the grass be down for that. After this tour comes through next week, I'm going to let the grass grow to knee high. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make hay out of the grass in your own yard on small acreage. Puts a little bit of work into it but I know it's 100% organic, it's locally sourced, and it's sustainable. I don't have that many rabbits, but they're going to need hay for me to finish getting them off of pellet of feed. So you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching Starkey Farmstead, and all we're asking is that you subscribe, like, and comment. Tell us how you are feeding your chickens naturally.